Previously on Naraji's Nook, I showed you my extreme home office makeover. So if you haven't watched that video yet, you may want to check it out right after this video. I hope you learned a thing or two from that video. Meanwhile, for today's video, let's get right into it. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back again to my channel. My name is Nora G and today I'll be putting to use a bunch of used candles to create a giant nine week scented candle, okay, which you can use for Christmas, Thanksgiving and so on. But before we dive into it or before we continue, if you're new here, I would love it if you can hit that subscribe button and join my Nuke virtual family. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always being there and for showing up. Okay, so let's keep on. So as you can see, I used E6000 glue and some aluminum foil to actually block the hole at the bottom of the terracotta pots. These terracotta pots, I got the base from the Dollar Tree and the larger one from Walmart. Okay, so you can get these from anywhere. Uh, I chose to use terracotta pots because I will be decorating this uh, candle, some kind of boho chic design as you would see uh, as the video continues. So with E6000 glue, it takes about 24 hours for it to cure, so I left this overnight for it to cure properly. Okay, you could also use a piece of cardboard or foam board to actually seal the hole at the bottom of your terracotta pot if you're using a, 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 a terracotta pot that has a, a, a hole at the base, of course, because this is a planters. Next, I will be using some acrylic paint, which I got from Michaels, to paint these all white. Just watch as I do this. So me using white for this is just personal preference. You could use whatever color you want to actually accentuate your home or to use some kind of matching colors according to your house design or to you, the design of your space. That is all up to you. I'm using white because it's a neutral color and I will use black to paint over it. And that is just me. And also because it is easy to incorporate black and white into any space. Alternatively, you could also spray paint this as opposed to hand painting it like I did. I chose to hand paint it because this dries pretty faster than spray paint surprisingly and also to avoid the scent that comes with spray paint most times. I try as much as possible to avoid using that. Next, I will be using these acrylic pens which I got from Amazon. I will leave the link in the description box under my Amazon storefront. So what I'm doing here is just basically freestyling a uh, design on here. You could do whatever you want uh, uh, if you're looking to doing something similar or you could do the same. That's all up to you. I do not mind. Okay, so I was just freestyling and going by what my heart tells me. Just watch as I complete this. Again, the idea was to make this some kind of boho chic design. Um, I am so much in love with boho chic for some reason and I've been trying as much as possible to incorporate more of that into the design around my home. So that was the idea for this particular design. You could also do the colors invertly, that is have it all painted black and then use white to design over it. That will look just as good like I did with the vases, the terracotta pots design that I did some time ago as you can see. Alright, so that is another option. And you could also add some gold into it if you want. Again, this is all you, it's for you to make it yours and just, you know, freestyle it. This design was actually part of my Black History Month design, but I just felt that this needed to be out there again by itself and not paired with other DIYs. That is why I am redoing this for you guys. So far, I really love how the design has come together. I think that should be enough. I do not want to overdo it. So at this point, our bowl is ready to have our candles poured into. Next, I'll be heating a pot filled with water and I will take a bunch of my used candles, as you can see, to melt them all and create one giant nine-week scented candles. 
Well, 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 as we continue with our DIY, I would love it if you can comment candles in the comment section if you've watched right up to this point. You know the drill and the no guys? You know it, you know it, okay? All right, I would appreciate if you can drop that in the comment section. Candles is the keyword for today, okay? So meanwhile, let's carry on with our DIY. I will be using the wick from these 12 inch taper candles as the wick inside my giant candles okay so i did not buy any extra wigs even though michael's does sell those and even amazon i had some taper candles at home as you can see i'll be melting them out and then i will use the wig in the creation of this new giant candle just watch as i do this all right so now that our candles are all melted and everything I will be pouring them into a giant glass bowl and then I will go ahead to add some scent wallflower which I got from Bath and Body Works you can use any scent of your choosing you can use cinnamon because it's fall and add some pumpkin spice if you want to get some fall flavors and you know it's all up to you so I went ahead and poured in this lovely scent into the candle and mixed properly before going ahead to pour into my bowl but first i decided to glue down the wicks i'll be using nine wicks for this so i glued them at the bottom of my bowl prior to pouring in my candles just watch as i do this Okay, while we carry on with our DIY on a side note, I would love if you can let me know in the comment section what kind of DIYs you would love to see from me or what kind of content you would love to see from me. I am all ears, guys. So please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. All right? So for this DIY, I am actually using some paint brushes to hold down the wick. You could use toothpick or some skewers, just anything, pens, anything that can actually hold this down for you. Alright, so once that was all placed, I went ahead to pour in my um, melted candle wax at this point. Okay, and you have to do this pretty quickly just so it doesn't get hardened. Okay, so here we go. hmm i already love the scent of this okay so now that i poured in my candle wax i used some broomsticks to support my um my wicks so they're standing up properly i only had five before now and then i went ahead to add uh four more to make nine wicks or to in total okay so uh here it is now um all solidified overnight I went ahead and cut the top of my wigs and our candle is looking all set. I love how huge this is. I've always wanted to get a very large bowl of candle with numerous wigs. I wish this was 12, but we managed to get nine. That is a win. <laughs> I am very pleased with how this turned out, so we will go ahead and light our candles to test them out. And there we go. I just love this. I love it. Please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this particular nine week scented candle and also what else you love to see me do on this channel. Well, this is your cue to not throw out used candles very quickly, okay? So get all those used candles and put them to good use. Meanwhile, that will bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.